All right, Zach, co-champ at the Aloha Open. You and Ross Larson share the title. And uh, well, where are we? We're in LAX right now, aren't we? Yeah. How far right. are we from your house? About two hours east. Two hours east, Palm Springs is where you're from in the desert in California. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Why, why you started out at Cal Baptist, mm -hmm. transferred to Oklahoma, why, why the transfer? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. I mean, one of it was there was a lack of training partners where I needed guys that were more around my size and guys that were tough because unfortunately there were a lot of guys I'd wrestle. They're good kids, but I would just end up breaking them, putting them out for about three weeks. I just couldn't take the hits. I mean, I Undersized guys? That and also just some of the guys just weren't very well built. Yeah, and then you know, once I got my release of transfer, I heard about Ball, what Mark Cody did, and it's Ball, especially Ball, like Ball, all the kind of guys he trained. That's really where I chose OU, and also it was just a much better room. I mean, especially to be able to wrestle with Ross and to wrestle with Mike Brown every day. I mean, you really can't get any better than that, especially with a great coach whose specialty is with upper weights. Looking at you know that decision, you go there, you make the Reno finals against Ross. Yeah. And you and Ross wrestle a lot. Oh he, yeah. He beat you in the finals. Yeah. But you make the finals and, and you beat guys who are guys that will probably be at the NCAA tournament. And I don't know if you guys, you know, Ross is the guy who's out there for you. He's the yeah. varsity guy. But there's still a, an opportunity for you to potentially wrestle at the NCAA tournament. Of course. You know, what, what do you got to do to push Ross and be in a position? If, if Ross goes down or you're able to beat Ross and Ross off, what do you got to do to be in a position to be ready for to wrestle? Just basically all I got to do is just just make sure, you know, just go practice every day. Just really just focus on wrestling, just living that lifestyle. Basically kind of like what Mark Cody talks about, living the lifestyle. It's lifestyle versus lifestyle. And the way I see it, it's, it's really true. It couldn't get any truer than that. I mean, it's it really is a lifestyle versus lifestyle thing. I mean, it's just as long as I'm staying prepared, as long as I just wrestle because I came to wrestle, then I will be as prepared as I can be. What was your match with Crawls like? Well, I'll just put it this way. I mean, some mats were kind of slippery there, but it was a good match. I mean, it took a while to get some things going, but it's just just being me, just, a, just like to keep grinding through, keep grinding through, just keep wrestling, really. What was the score? It was four to two and quadruple overtime. Quadruple overtime? You yeah. got him in quadruple overtime? Yeah, I got that takedown on him, yeah. And you know, looking at a match like that, beating a top 20 guy, what's that do for your confidence? Well, I mean, to me, I mean, it's just rankings really are really arbitrary to me. I mean, I just see it as, I mean, it doesn't really matter what they're ranked. What really matters to me is as long as I'm wrestling, as long as I'm doing what I do, it's just wrestling how I like to wrestle. What has Mark Cody done for you as a person? Oh, he's done so many great things. I mean, he's been, not only has he been like a father figure to me, but he's also been, he's been very patient. He's been very supportive. He's really helped me out. I mean, personally, he's even, I mean, we, I feel we share a really great bond with each other. And also, I mean, coaching wise too, he's really helped me really narrow down focusing on the very core aspects of wrestling rather than focusing on the superfluous fancy stuff and being the master, trying to know all these techniques, being a jack of all trades and master of none, as opposed to really doing what it takes to be the best I can possibly be. You are a warm weather kid. You're from the desert in Southern California where it probably never gets below 70 degrees, maybe at nighttime. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of these kids I've been talking to are they're Midwestern kids. They're not warm weather guys besides Clark. Clark's in Florida. Yeah. But, uh, you know, going to Hawaii, it's, I don't know if it's as big of a deal to you as it is to these other guys I'm talking to because they're all Midwestern guys. They're all... Of course. Yeah. How did you like the experience going to Hawaii? I mean, there are some good experiences there. I mean... I mean, for sure, I mean, it's the weather's not as crappy as it is in Oklahoma City right now. I mean, that is just cold and brutal right now. But, I mean, it's a nice change of pace for the winter instead of being in the snow, you know, being OU. I mean, get to at least be in warm weather. I mean, I've been able to come, I used to come home in the winter and it was, you know, about as warm but not as humid as Hawaii. But I thought it was a good experience. I thought it was a nice change of pace because most of the time, especially during the Holiday times we tend to be in like these remote places where it could be cold or just sometimes in the middle of nowhere. But then being in Hawaii, just I, it was a nice change of pace for you know for me, especially you know wrestling wise when we're just used to 
being in these same places. What was your favorite thing about the trip as far as, I know the wrestling winning the title is pretty sweet. Yes. But uh, you know, what was your favorite thing about as far as being able to tour, swim, fish, whatever, what was your favorite thing? It was very relaxing, man. It was really nice. We just got to walk bare feet in the beach. I mean, it was just, and the sand wasn't hot at all. It just felt really nice and it was just so relaxing. I mean, it, it just has a very, it just felt very relaxing. It's like as if I was in like, it's not in Kyoto, but it's like it's like as if I was in some kind of Zen garden, and that's what I really liked about it. Really, that's interesting. I haven't heard that answer yet. So, you got anything else for me? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> that basically do it. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the title in Hawaii. We'll be catching you down the road, right? Absolutely.